It is time. Guess what I have? Ah! Ah! But wait, Hannah, how do you have a book that hasn't even been released yet? Because I don't. I have several. What is happening? It's time to tell you guys about the new secret project. This is probably gonna be a long one, so go grab a snack and get comfy. The teaser videos. Having my Christian witch altar in the background, rosaries hanging from the background, and then wearing it, a copy of Where the Gods Left Off in the background. And a lot of you also guessed that I would be collaborating with Sarah in some way, but remember, it's not just Sarah, it's Sarah and Mimi. After weeks of planning and putting this together, I am going to be selling Discovering Christian Witchcraft on my site with something very special alongside it. Really quick, for people who might be new here who have no idea what this is or who these people are, because I did not write this book. Christian Witchcraft is a thing and it is totally allowed, but people have lots of questions about it because what about this Bible verse and how do I actually do Christian Witchcraft? This is a justification of Christian witchcraft from academic and personal perspective. And it was also a guide on how this all works. There's lots of Christian witchcraft books out there and you should read them all, but it's hard to find a justification as to how and why this is possible. And it's not a recipe for eternal damnation. This tells you all about it. Now, I don't wanna to spoil too much, but there's a part in the book that discusses tools that a Christian witch or any witch for that matter might find themselves using. And because I have experience selling beginner witch kits, which are not going anywhere anytime soon, by the way, just putting that out there, Sarah and Mimi reached out to me to ask if I would be interested in collaborating with them in creating beginner Christian witch kits to sell alongside the book. Now I wanna be very clear on something. Maybe you don't necessarily identify as a Christian witch. Maybe you're a Christopagan or uh, you have some Catholic folk traditions in your practice or you have some kind of Christian-esque Abrahamic entity in your space, like an angel or Asherah or something like that. If you feel that this kit could benefit you or your practice in any way, regardless of what you identify as or what title you use for your practice, this is for everyone. And same with the book, we're not gatekeeping this at all. Really wanna drive that point home, this is for everyone. We have been planning and meeting and talking about this for weeks and my package of books finally got here. We really decided on what we wanted to put into these kits and Sarah and Mimi are filming their own videos of the kits. I'm sure you all want to see that. You want to know what's in this bad boy and I will show you. But first, let's talk about where you can find all of these things and when and how much it all is. And also what to do if you've already pre-ordered the book or you plan on pre-ordering it. If you want just the book by itself, for whatever reason, you gotta go through Sarah or Mimi. They are both tagged below. There are also ebook versions of the book available for those of you who are on a budget or maybe in the broom closet. You can pre-order it now or get it on release day, which is March 1st. The paperback is $25 and the ebook is $15. Now, if you want to get just the kit by itself, you gotta go through me and it's gonna be $30. But if you want the book and kit combo and it is the paperback book, it is $50, which if you do some girl math, that is a deal. The kit and the kit and book combo will be available through me on March 1st. Okay, great. Now shut up and show us what's in the kit. Are you sure? Maybe I'll tease it a little longer. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so this box is just gonna be mine because I spilled on it, but that's fine. This will just act as the prop box. But the kit will come to you in a box just like this one. I don't have these yet, but even if I did, I couldn't show it to you on here because Clock App is weird with that. But when you first open the box, there will be a QR code that you can scan, and then that will provide you with information on how to use everything in your kit. That way it's broom closet friendly, um, but also like you're not having to like search through the book whenever you're trying to find like, where's the tool section? Where do I, or if you get the kit first and then the book later, you know, whatever the case might be, you can just scan it and get a how to for everything. Now, for the actual kit itself, we wanted to try to make this as broom closet friendly as possible, but all of these tools are still extremely useful. So first, rather than doing um, crystal tumbles, we thought it would be more broom closet friendly and fun to do a crystal bracelet. So 
This is Bloodstone, and all of these look different. Some of these are more red than others. Some of these are more green than others. But this is very significant to Christian myth, which you can learn more about when you get this and you read all about it. But nice, broom closet friendly. It's pretty. I don't think a ton of people are going to question this, but it's definitely something that you can use in your practice. Next, cleansing tools. We thought about doing incense, but figured that wouldn't work with everyone with, you know, sensitivities, allergies, or whatnot. So in my other beginner witch kits, I include a bell. And just because of everything else that I have in those kits and the size of the boxes and whatnot, those bells are pretty small. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity to include a bigger bell. Uh, I'll ring it for you. Headphones warning. Three, two, one. I mean, that's a pretty substantial sound cleansing tool. Next, holy water made by yours truly. Did you know that anyone can make holy water if you look up how to do it correctly? So again, this is for cleansing, protection, lots of other things that you can read all about here. Even if you're not Catholic, didn't grow up Catholic, this is still a really good tool to have at your disposal. And if you're living in an anti-Catholic household, you can just take this sticker off and it'll be fine. Next holy oil this is similar to like almost like my custom my custom uh deity oils it's a good way to connect with the divine and again it can be you know protective and stuff this has olive oil and it's hard to see on camera but there's little bits of frankincense and myrrh resin in there too and it's like this so you can dab some on your wrists or uh your neck or behind your ears or wherever you feel is fit you can also oh by the way I make these in-house um, but you could also use these with the next tool that the kit comes in which is these little tea lights so if you're looking for like a really quick and easy spell you can just unscrew this cap and then do a little do 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 and boom you got yourself a spell easy the kit comes with two tea lights and finally my personal favorite item in this kit and the thing that i have been showing off the most in the hints a rosary uh, I wanted to do something that's like a gender neutral color. All colors are gender neutral, but you know what I mean, right? Something simple. Um, here, let me show you guys more detail. And don't worry if you don't know how to use a rosary. I'm getting to that. But look at that. These are so pretty. There's this little guy on it too. And then when you turn them over, it looks like this and this. I love this idea. I think they're really pretty. But when I brought this up to the Catholic Sarah, I was like, hey, um, I did not grow up Catholic. I don't know how to pray the rosary. I don't know the Hail Mary. I love this idea. But that was what inspired us to do the QR code thing that will provide information on how to use this stuff. So if you don't know how this works, you will. Um, and even if you you're not into like full Catholicism or you don't necessarily want to pray the rosary or do the Hail Mary or whatever, it still makes a really great protection amulet. It's still, you can use it as regular prayer beads however you want. And it looks really cool as jewelry. And again, if you're living in a pretty like anti-Catholic household, we get it. These luckily come in these little opaque bags so, I mean, you can just stuff her back in there when you're done using it and then put it under your pillow and your backpack, wherever you feel is safe. And even the box itself, like, ignore the spill stains, okay? This is why I kept this one. I spilled olive oil on it. But, like, the box itself, there's nothing on here that would indicate that this is witchy. Um, unless someone really wants to put in the effort to open the box and scan the QR code, they're not going to know what's going on here. I'm so proud of this and I'm so proud of Sarah and Mimi and I'm so honored that they asked me to take part in this whole thing. I have read the book and I firmly believe that it is going to change the world. Um, if you're a Christian witch, Christopagan, or deconstructing, if you're deconstructing, if you're not even into this witchy shit or you don't have a lick of Christianity in your practice, but you're curious and or not not in like an evangelical way. You're just you're like, what the what is what the hell is this? What is going on? And you're deconstructing and you're looking for some answers of the things that you're deconstructing about this right here has so much valuable information. I've been doing Christian witchcraft for a handful of years, and there were things in this book that blew my 
mind. So I can't imagine what it would be like for someone who's on level zero. This is for beginners. This is for experts. This is for the curious minded. And it's going to change the world. That's a bold statement, I know. But like, I, I was, I was reading uh, the manuscript and I'm like, guys, you really did it. You did it. You wrote the book that's gonna change the world. So I'm gonna be talking about this nonstop until release day. And if you guys know us, follow us, you know that this is our passion. This is something that we very firmly believe in. Uh, you know, we used to do our witch talk Bible studies with Lena. By the way, everyone give Lena some love too because her baby is about to and I'm so happy that this is gonna be out in the world so soon. I'm literally tonight probably gonna sit down and start reading it again because they have the edited version now. And everything is so pretty. Like all of the chapters are pretty and like, look, ah, and I hit the acknowledgements. I'm gonna cry guys. So to recap, you can pre-order the book or the ebook now by going to Sarah or Mimi you can get the individual kit from me um, on March 1st, which is the release day for all of this, or you can get the kit and book combo from me, also on release day, March 1st. I would like for this to be a permanent item, but we're kind of testing the market, so to speak, first. Um, so we have about 20 of the book and kit combos. And I'm not sure how many individual kits I'm gonna have yet. I'm still working on that part. But we're just we're just testing this to see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't flop. Hopefully they'll sell out and people will want more and we'll be able to do more of these. But hype this up if you're excited. I'm really excited. That's why I've been teasing it for so long. And go support these authors because they are incredible people and I'm so happy to be friends with them and to cheer them on and to take part in this part of their journeys. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm excited.